I'm often asked why I got into DUI defense. My name is Michael Del Signore, Massachusetts OUI lawyer. And the reason I got into that line of work is because when somebody knocks on my door on the weekend, they need help. They feel at the lowest point in their life. Someone's given them a ride to my office. They're not sure how they're gonna get to work, how they're gonna support their family. And they're looking to me for that second chance. That's what we work for, to make sure they get that chance. And what happens is we start from the beginning of the case. We look at all the different ways we can uh, fight this charge. Uh, we look at the police report. What about the road? What about the road conditions? What about the driving? How can we minimize that to show that it's normal driving, not erratic driving or unsafe driving? It's an accident. How can we show that this was an accident that is unrelated to alcohol? We look at the field test to say, how, how are these tests? Are these tests that we can use to formulate our defense? Does it appear the person uh, essentially passed the test, but the officer doesn't give them credit for? passing the exercises. In a lot of reports, the officer is going to say you failed. Almost all of them, they say you failed the field exercises. I look at the reports and having known their training, I know how they're supposed to do the test. It's often very difficult, different from the test you were given on the side of the road. So when I look at these tests, in a lot of cases, I'll tell you, you know, you, you did well. This is going to come out different in court than you think. We then look at, at the other evidence in the case. Uh, is there breath test evidence? We can get that excluded often. Uh, there's a challenge going on right now that they're not even using the test. Uh, but even when that wraps up, there are many procedural requirements to get a breath test in evidence that the government can't comply with. So when somebody comes into the office, whether you know they're a doctor, whether they're a nurse, a school teacher, I know that they're, they want to move forward with this case. And in Massachusetts, they don't generally reduce the charge. You're not gonna get a negligent operation. They're not gonna dismiss it. We're gonna have to go to trial. And often that's in front of a jury. And when we're waiting out in that hallway, waiting for the verdict, finally wanting to know how this is gonna turn out, you'll know that everything was done to put the best case forward in front of that jury. When you see me in action, you're gonna be confident from the first word in the opening statement the final word and closing argument that you had someone on your side that cared about the case that was enthusiastic that really wanted to make sure you won this case and got through it that you have that chance to, to get a fresh start that you deserve my job is to teach the jury and to show the jury tell the jury your story and let them see that i care about you you're a good person even if you don't testify they'll see it in how we are in court and how your lawyer uh, interacts with you, interacts with the jury and, and shows the jury that this is important to you. And when we're defending you, you'll understand that and know that you had the best person on your side. Feel free to call us and we'll answer your questions, explain the process and come up with a plan as to whether you can win your case in court.